Hey YouTube, how you going? Does that sound really Australian? How you going? Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, today, it's no buckets and no covers, but I'm gonna do some more, so stay tuned for that. Today what I'm doing is paradiddle combinations. Woo! More of them, they're just endless. So um, I did a video before about uh, four different paradiddle combinations you could do. And then I was thinking about different ways to do it. And I think I did one with like paradiddle hurters or something. Um, but I've gone through and, and worked out 16 different combinations that I can do that are like uh, good for like warming up or to build paradiddle speed or to build flams or whatever. So I got these, I don't know if you can see them very well in the camera there. I can't see what I'm, anyway, so these are the four I did last time, these four here, one, two, three, four. Uh, so they were the, just the basic ones like right, left, right, right, left, right, left, 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 right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, and right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Okay? So they were the different combinations I had before, and now we've I've taken them and I've got ones with flams, I've got ones with like little ooh, diddles, and then ones with herders. So the first one's pretty straightforward. I've already done that in a video. And then the next one here, I go to the flams. So I start with the double at the start of the paradiddle. Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. Okay? And then I put the flam in wherever the double is. So if the double starts on the second part of the beat, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, it sounds like this. Okay? Uh, the next one is like a little diddle. Uh, I wasn't sure how to notate it, so I just put like two lines through the, the note that I'm going to diddle. I don't even know if diddle is the right word. Maybe it's called a drag or something. Who knows? But what it is, I take the right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, and I play right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And it it comes on the note after the double. So if I'm playing right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, it'll sound like this. Okay, so that's the double, and then the last one is the the what's it called again? I forgot what it's called. Herta. Yeah, there we go. And uh, with the paradiddle herta combinations, yes. And that though, so the herta is just like an extra note in between the double. So if you got right, right, left, right, between those two right hand strokes, you'll put a little sneaky left hand stroke. Right, left, right, left, uh, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, so they're the four different combinations on paper, and I'm going to play them all for you now. So I'm, I've got the metronome at 100 BPM, and I'm just going to go through them. And how am I going to look at this? I don't have a stand here. Actually, the, the camera is on my music stand. I think I just put this on the chair to do the paradiddles. Yeah, I know you love paradiddles. YouTube loves paradiddles. So 100 BPM. I'm going to go through all the combinations. I'll play each version four times before moving on to the next line. One, two, three, four. Okay, then you move on to the flams. Okay. 
okay? Straight away there, I can tell that my flams sound slightly different depending on where they land in the bar. So already there's an issue of inconsistency, something I can work on. Um, so yeah, I'm not too good at this at the moment yet. I just wrote this up yesterday. And from here on in, it's gonna, be, okay, enough excuse. Anyway, let's do the diddles. And the last one is the herders. Ah. Oh, stop, metronome. Okay. So that's that's them. That's the the 16 paradiddle exercises that you can use to spice up your love life and also to get good at drums. So, uh, I'm not thinking so much about how to apply these on the drums just yet because this is still a new exercise for me. So, I'm going to use this as a warm-up exercise in the morning. Uh, it's going to be a good warm-up exercise because I can't play it that fast yet. It stops me from playing fast when I'm meant to be warming up. It can be bad when you need to warm up in the morning and you're like, straight away, yeah, I'm getting warm. You know, it's not good for your arms. It's good to have something a bit more technical that you actually can't play fast. So you're forced to play it slow and that will warm up your arms a lot better. You know, just going through. And do it to a metronome, do it to some music. Um, and you can mix it up a bit more. You can do like a, you could do like triplets or like para paradiddles. Right, left, uh, right, left, foot. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. You could do flams on there like. Um, so there's still more combinations that you can go. You can play around with the order in which you play these. You can say, you can have the normal paradiddle, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And then you can do all the variations on that sticking and then move on to the next sticking, which might be right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. What that would sound like is, so you do the normal paradiddle. Then you do the flammed version. And then you do the diddle version. And then the herder version. So that's another way you can go through it. You can start, you can do the, you can do this, you can just use these four and do every version of this, then every version of that, for every version of that. Uh, it's just another way you can do it. So have fun with it. Uh, enjoy the paradiddles. Uh, that's it, that's the lesson for today. Uh, I am working on the covers. I've, I'm writing down the covers that people suggest for bucket drums um, on on scrumpled up tea stained paper. But I will do them. Uh, not all of them. Because every new cover that comes out, people will suggest more covers. And I'm just going to be a bit picky and pick ones that I want to do. And some of them are cool, but some of them already have cool drums on it. And it's like, well, I don't want to play on that. I want something that sounds like it needs cool drums. Uh, but yeah, all the cover, all the suggestions are good, and it's good for me because I get to listen to new things and find things I haven't listened to. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll get working on the covers. Uh, if you like the lesson, remember to subscribe to my channel, not another channel. And that's all I had to say today. It's raining in Sydney. I don't know what the weather's like where you are, but I hope it's your favourite weather right now. And I hope everyone has a good weekend. Oh, it's St. Pat Patrick's Day today as well. Okay, guys, so that's the lesson. Nothing else here to see. You can go now. See you guys.